I don't know about you, but I've been seeing these hand-drawn looking profile pictures go crazy on the timeline the past couple days. And contrary to what you might think, no, no one is really paying artists to actually turn photos of them into these painting-like pictures. It's actually just an AI tool that will turn your photo into a sort of drawn looking feel. It's super easy and today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can use this AI tool to make these photos of yourself. And then after that, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get rid of the watermarks on these photos using our online video and photo editor, Kapwing. Let's get into it. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to find the photos that you're gonna to use to turn into these graphics. And the best results definitely come from if there is just one person in the photo um, and in the foreground specifically, and is the main subject, is the obvious main subject. If there are multiple people in one picture and they're all in the same plane, sort of like a group photo, then this is gonna get a lot more tricky. So make sure that it's more of like a portrait of one person. So I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna use this photo. I think it's good enough. I'm in the foreground. There are other people in the background but I do think I stand out enough from it. And I'm also using this picture because it's not actually the perfect photo, but it will be a good example of how you can tweak um, on the website and make it work for you if you don't find the perfect photo. You are able to do this on your phone, but you do have to download the new profile pic app and you are able to do this without downloading any apps just on their website. So it's the same thing. You're just getting out of download something. So that's what I'm gonna do. So go to newprofilepic.com and then all you're gonna do is just choose the photo right here and then choose a photo that you downloaded. So as you can see, it's going to automatically try to highlight the subject of the photo. But like I said, this one isn't a perfect example because it does highlight these people in the background right here. So because I have too much highlighted here and I wanna get rid of them, I'm gonna click the erase feature and just start erasing. Alternatively, if it doesn't highlight all of you and misses some parts, you can go ahead and use the brush tool here and then anything that you brush will be highlighted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep erasing and zoom in. And then you can change the size of the brush as well so you can get sort of into these crevices. So like I said, this looks pretty good to me. Then I can go ahead and click this button on the left here um, to get a look at what is highlighted. Okay, cool. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click the save button and then it'll process for a minute. And there you have it. Now I have this photo of me that clearly looks very hand-drawn. And there are a few options you can use. So you can just click through. As you can see, it does actually change the style a bit. So I think this first one is actually your best option. It looks closest to my real face. Once I click this, it starts to change my face a little bit. And it's also not as detailed or shadowed, I feel like. So this one looks really strange and has other people in the background. I don't think that looks like me at all. And this one, I also don't really think looks like me. I think the first one is the best option for most people. And then you can go ahead and click download. If you don't like the photo, then you can just go ahead and click the change photo button and do it all again. However, you will notice that you do have this watermark in the bottom, which you don't want. At least I don't think you do. So the easiest way to get rid of that is just to go to kapwing.com. You can click the first link in the description of this video, then start a new project, just drag it in. And there's a couple things that you can do in here. If you wanna just crop it out, you can just click the crop button on the right here and then drag it up to get rid of the logo and click done cropping. However, if you do do this, you do notice that it's not exactly a perfect square anymore. And if you do wanna get an exact perfect square, you have to bring in the entire thing um, and it might zoom in more than you want it to. So another option that you're able to do is to just go to our elements tab here on the left sidebar add in a square just by clicking on it, resize it to be about the same size as this logo. And then you can go up to the fill color up here at the top and then click the droplet button and then just click the background of the picture. And then there you have it. Now you have the exact same image, but it is now covered up. While you're here, you're also able to click the image if you'd like and click the adjust image button. And then you can change things like the brightness, um, the contrast, saturation, or things like that. And you can also go to our filters and add in different filters here as well. So for instance, if you want a black and white one, you can go ahead and click one of these black and white options. And yeah, so that's about it. Once you have the picture that you want, you can go ahead and click the export image button and then go ahead and click the download file. And now you have the file that has any edits that you want, including 
just you know edits like saturation as well as getting rid of the logo so yeah guys there you have it now you have your sort of drawn painting like profile picture i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this was helpful make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and also keep up with other trends like this one and i will see you guys in the next one